What's going on guys? Got an important video for you tonight. I personally think spent a lot of time on it, but I want you guys to, as always, hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, your criticism in the comment section. If you follow me on Twitter, you knew this video was coming. My username there is Shutdown Safety. So much talk in the community about the evolution of Madden, the three-year plans, the subtle improvements to the game, and how the community or the fan base should accept those changes and continually look at it as progress being a positive thing and when I look at the Madden game overall you know I see progress I see change but certainly not at the rate that any of us expected and I certainly don't see innovation in Madden like we've seen out of other football titles so what I'd like to do I've got Madden 09 and I've also got Madden 10 and I just want to discuss a few things when we talk about Madden 15 and keep in mind the interesting similarities here these are a few years into the current console with the 360 or the PS3 at the time these games were made and we're basically starting to creep into that same window. So the first thing I want to discuss is the icons and we've heard a lot talked about currently when you go into the game of Madden 15 you can see real-time assessments of players on the field you know who is a possession receiver who is a shutdown corner who is this that or the other who's the speed burner to help you assess who you need to target or who you need to use in the game, whether you're offensive or defensive. And the interesting thing is when you go back and you look at Madden 08, you know, this is something that was actually in this game, you know, in a number of different ways. You know, as you see the camera come out here, we can zoom out and we can see Harrison and Die Clark. All these icons all have a meaning within the game, and that's also reflected on the defensive side of the ball. So this is showing me these matchups in real time. When I go to Marvin Harrison, you see there the sprint button comes up. There was also a highlight button if the player had that available. If we see the offensive profile come up, you're going to see all those players' names listed. And it's going to talk to you or show you here what all their key characteristics and traits are. So to me, that's not something new that's in the game. So to me, obviously, one of the biggest visual changes we'll see with Madden 15 is the camera angle. And it's intriguing when you go back and you look at Madden 09 and you see the short-lived Superstar mode and not only the camera angle that it used, but also some of the options it gave you. And again, keeping in mind, we know this game is a port. How much are we seeing in Madden 15 of Madden 09? I mean, just on the screen right now, as I play Cliff Aver, who I felt should have been the Super Bowl MVP this year, you already see the big hitter icon underneath my linebacker, Ernie Sims. I'm coming up here. You see the power move shown as the RB bumper. You see him coming up against Dallas Clark, who still has his icon up on the field. And then I'm given options here as to how I'm going to get past the lineman. I mean, you see I'm using a finesse move there and there. This is just kind of how it played into your player influence in terms of how you can impact gameplay and keep your player kind of improving. But you see so many of these same characteristics in this game from 2009 reflected in the current game. And it really, to me speaks a lot about that lack of innovation and really how much maybe recycling we see out of Madden more than anything else. I wanted to close this video out with two articles, a Madden 13 and a Madden 15 article. And to me, these are the most damaging because of how close the games are together, but also how similarly worded these features are. Madden 13 was supposed to redesign the passing game. It talked about Larry Fitzgerald, Jimmy Graham, 430 new catching animations that were going to have elite receivers rule the game. It talked about a John Madden personally inspired total control passing that was going to have you use your L stick to determine where the ball went so that elite quarterbacks like Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers could manipulate where the ball was thrown and put it in a spot where only the receiver could get it. It talked about 20 new ball trajectories and ball speeds that were going to accommodate this in specific situations where you would be able to use certain players to your advantage. It talked about then cover athlete Calvin Johnson having high passes thrown to him that only he could catch. You can even go back at Madden 13 and watch a total control passing video that displays all this to you in striking similarity to what we're about to be told about Madden 15. Which is why it's so intriguing when we look at the Madden 15 feature overview for catch variety and pass accuracy. It talks about not all quarterbacks being created equal. It talks about, again, elite quarterbacks. It brings back up Aaron Rodgers, but it also mentions Peyton Manning. It talks about how in the past versions of Madden, any quarterback could consistently shred an opposing defense with accurate passes. 
but now with Madden 15, these accuracy ratings are going to be more important. It talks about situations where your short, mid, and deep throws should impact throwers like Phillip Rivers and Drew Brees, but also damage less accurate quarterbacks like Geno Smith and Eli Manning. It talks about how mobile quarterbacks have been tuned for a greater ability to throw on the run, something that was also mentioned with Madden 13. But also talks about the catch variety. It talks about how players will now both see wide receivers and defensive backs go for inaccurate passes, but most importantly, it brings up pass lead tuning which apparently is just tuning what we can only assume was the redesigned NFL 13 passing game, which we still have yet to see really get built upon, or even show itself the way it's been described, as now we're told finally we'll have the ability to lead on precision passes downfield. But wasn't that in the game in NFL Madden 13? Wasn't NFL Madden 13 the start of a certain three-year plan? So why are we being sold on a next-gen console old gen features why are being told about things that are implemented in the game now that were supposed to be implemented in the past why is it some of us continue to push for a better game while some of us want to forget what we have been told the game will deliver and what we're still being promised it might love to know your guys opinions on this appreciate you sitting through the video i'll be back in the week with more content